Hey guys, this is Khadeen and you are watching Rovid Khadeen. In this video, you will learn that how to create a beautiful and responsive restaurant or food website using WordPress and Elementor. Uh, let me just tell you about a few things about creating this website that this creating this website doesn't require any technical or coding knowledge and this is just drag and drop and you just have to make few clicks and your website is ready. You can see the time left and in that time we'll be creating the complete website without coding or without doing anything and one thing more that after creating this website uh, I'll also be telling you some restaurant digital marketing strategies that how you can get the clients and how you can get the customers to your restaurant and what are the ways and strategies okay so here you can see this is a beautiful website uh, with beautiful animations the fast website with 100 uh, by 100 uh, page score speed with that uh, reservation form or uh, maps and a lot other stuff uh, this uh, site is scrolling then you have about section menu section testimonial section blog section uh, not section but uh, uh, it is uh, uh, pages testimonials page blog page contact page make a reservation page and uh, here you can see this is a beautiful testimonials page and uh, you have menu pages where user can see the menus and a lot other things will be creating the complete website and I'll be sharing with you the complete strategy and complete tutorial that how you can do it uh, for free with free theme with free plugins you just have to pay for the hosting so let's just get started but before just starting the video uh, may, uh, if you need any help with uh, web design uh, web maintenance SEO services social media services or logo design services I am running a web design and digital marketing agency where we offer all these services so you can just hire us and you can also book a one on one consultation with me to discuss uh, the strategy of your business and I can help you to grow your business and if you need any uh, digital marketing or social media or if you want this website to be designed designed by me and you need something more premium and more luxurious not luxurious but more premium and professional designed by someone professional so you can hire us and we can offer you the web design or any other services at affordable prices so starting and coming back to the uh, tutorial so first of all uh, to create a website uh, you need two basic things first is domain name and the second is hosting now if you don't know what the, the domain name and hosting is domain name is the name of the website let's suppose you want to go to YouTube you will type in youtube.com in address bar or you want to go to Facebook you type uh, you will type in facebook.com in address bar so someone wants to go to your website that you are going to create uh, you will need need a domain name and the second thing which is the hosting uh, hosting is a server is a, a storage uh, which your website needs and that storage it is 24 7 connected to internet with fast servers so you don't have uh, your uh, website is 24 7 live okay available for customers like other websites are available for customers so there are a lot companies that are offering the both things but uh, as we are using WordPress uh, to create this website so we'll be using a WordPress recommended hosting and there are a lot other reasons that I am recommending you this hosting you just have to go to link in description to get special 70% discount plus free domain name and you will be getting those two things and uh, after you have uh, arrived on this page what you just have to do is you just have to click on get started now and so after clicking here you can see you have been redirected to this uh, plans page and here you can see you have three options uh, first one is for uh, uh, first one is basic then plus and then choice plus and uh, now you have to keep in mind that uh, uh, there uh, there are three uh, plans and they are with three time frames okay so first of all uh, let's just check the basic plan in basic plan you have one website with the uh, 50 GB page uh, uh, space and uh, you have unmetered bandwidth plus standard performance and free SSL certificate and uh, one domain name is included and a lot other stuff is included so you can see uh, then you have the second option which is plus plan and it is four point ninety five dollars per month and then third one uh, is a choice plus which is a five point forty five dollars per month uh, but right now I'll go with this basic plan because I just don't uh, don't want to pay extra mo money and I just uh, will go with two point ninety five dollars per month so I'll just click on select 
So now after selecting it, what you just have to do is you just have to add a domain name. Now I'll just uh, name it Khadeen Restaurant and I'll just click on next. I hope this domain name is available. So it's just uh, it's just saying that uh, the domain khadeenrest.com is available. And now it's time for signing up and uh, you can sign up with Google or you can just go with the information here I'll just go with the information so I just added all my information here and uh, here you can see uh, it's uh, for 12 months and for 12 months you will have to pay $295 per month but for 36 months you will have to pay $4.95 per month okay uh, but you will see a pop-up here when you will uh, claim that saving then for 12 months you will have to pay $4.95 per month and for 36 months you will have to pay $2.95 per month so if you want to buy it for one year then just cross that pop-up but if you want to buy it for three years then uh, go with that pop-up if you will get that okay so I'm just going to uh, going with the, the this 12 months package because uh, I want to test the Bluehost also uh, because you cannot only depend on my opinion you just want to test it by yourself and uh, here you can see here are some extra options so I'll just uh, delete this one and I'll also delete this one now I'll have to pay, I'm saving about uh, eight eighty four dollars per year and forty seven dollars is my bill okay forty seven dollars and twenty eight cents and then you just have to enter your card and stuff etc and then you just have to add the expiration date and after doing all that you just have to click on I have um, accepted and agreed and you just have to click on submit and then they I, I'm not going to buy it because uh, I'm creating uh, tens of tutorials and I cannot buy uh, a hosting for each tutorial so you can just click on submit and uh, you will be redirected to a page where you just have to enter the uh, email and other stuff and then after signing up you will be asked for selecting a CMS then there you just have to select the WordPress and there you go you will be emailed uh, the credentials to your website the link to your website admin dashboard and here you go this type of website a dashboard uh, is what you will be given and after you will be given this dashboard then it's the time to create the website so let's just uh, now we have the playground and we just have to play and create the website so this uh, dashboard might seem some, a bit complicated but it is not because you have just simple sections you don't need to do, go with any of them you can just go with uh, go to settings and go to general and you can just change your website name and stuff etc or you can just change your administration email and uh, other stuff and uh, here in uh, writing you can also change some credentials and in reading then uh, you can just uh, change the static pages and a lot of uh, other stuff this is uh, uh, the, like this is not uh, uh, working right now uh, right now we'll be using a theme which will be automatically installed and all that stuff would be automatically done and uh, now uh, let's see how our website is looking uh, uh, right now so I'll just delete it and we'll just visit our website so that's how our website is looking right now but what we have to do is we just have to convert this into this website okay and you can see the time left and in that time left will be converting this website into this one or you can just see the timestamps in the description below and you can see uh, in how much time I just converted this website into this website so first step uh, towards creating this website is going to this Rishi theme and after going to this Rishi theme website you can just go to link in description below and uh, you can just uh, go for this Rishi theme and you just have to download this Rishi theme for free just click on Rishi, download Rishi for free and uh, here you just have to enter your email address your name uh, first name your last name and you just have to click on download now and your Rishi theme would be downloaded and uh, you will also be, uh, it is purchased and now what you just have to do is you can just click on this one to download this Rishi theme for free and uh, you will be also emailed uh, the Rishi theme file and you can just go there and you can also download from there and after you have download that, downloaded that theme file you just have to go to your uh, website just go to dashboard and after going to dashboard just go to uh, appearance just go to themes click on add new 
and click on upload theme and click on choose files and from here what you just have to do is you just have to upload this Rishi theme just click on this one and click on install now sorry so click on install now and it would be installed so here you can see the Rishi theme has been installed uh, uh, installed successfully now you just have to click on this activate button and your theme would be activated and after your theme is activated what what you just have to do is you just have to um, click on this activate Rishi companion button so click on this activate Rishi companion button and you have download the Rishi extension also and after we have downloaded the theme and downloaded the extension and installed the extension we'll see how our website is looking right now so here you can see that's how our website is looking right now but we have to convert this website into this one so let's see how to do it so after doing all that what we just have to do is we just uh, uh, we just have to go to uh, the appearance and after going to appearance um, here we just uh, after going to appearance what you just have to do is just have to go to this Rishi theme and then we just have to go to this starter sites and after going to starter sites we just have to click on this activate Rishi starter templates and after the Rishi starter templates uh, plugin is activated it would take some time to be activated and after it is activated you just have to find a restaurant uh, a restaurant template uh, to import the restaurant website here are hundreds of templates and you can choose any one of them and some of premium so you would have to get that premium version I have also created a complete review on Rishi WordPress theme you can just also just check it and uh, here you just have to search for uh, restaurant so here you can see this one is the restaurant template so I'll just click on this restaurant and after clicking on this one uh, you can just only import the home one but I'll just import the complete website so just click on import complete site and uh, if you have already imported something you just can click on delete uh, previously imported website uh, but I haven't uh, I haven't imported it so after doing that you just have to click on this import button and after you have clicking uh, clicked on import button then it would start importing now it would take some time importing the uh, website because I'm using this website on local server but it would take only a few seconds if you are using Bluehost server right now I'm not using it because of speed issues uh, so if you would be using uh, Bluehost server it would take around one to two minutes to import the complete website so here you go boom and the website has been imported successfully so I'll just uh, click on uh, view website and here you can see how our website is looking right now so I'll just make it a, a little bigger so here you can see what's the difference between this website and this website the both websites are similar and we have created not created but uh, who knows except developer uh, we have created the complete website uh, within a few seconds but that's not all we just have to change the logos we just have to change the links and all that and in the time left we'll be doing all that but there's there's not a single piece of rocket science behind that because we just have to make some uh, clicks and we are good to go okay uh, but uh, the thing is that we have created uh, we'll be uh, editing the website with Elementor so if you have time you can spend 10 to 20 minutes uh, on uh, a YouTube video uh, you can just search on YouTube uh, for uh, Elementor tutorial and you will find a lot of tutorials there and you can just uh, visit that and uh, actually I'm doing it with Elementor free but if you need more customizable features you can go with Elementor Pro and the link to Elementor Pro is in description below and you can just get the Elementor Pro and uh, now I'll just click on edit with Elementor Elementor and with this Elementor free version you can just edit uh, that stuff you can edit uh, the pages and all that but you cannot edit the header and footer you will need Elementor Pro to edit the headers and footers like at the ad, uh, in the header you can header the edit the menu you can edit the logo uh, from the back end but you cannot edit it by yourself like I'll, I'll be telling you that how you can do it 
but first of all uh, let's just edit the uh, header and that footer with Elementor Pro and if you want to get the Elementor Pro you can just go to link in description below so to edit the header and footer what you just have to do is uh, you uh, actually when you don't have Elementor Pro you cannot edit it with Elementor so to edit that you just have to go to customize and after going to customize what you just have to do is um, you just have to go a, uh, a bit below and here you can see you have a lot Rishi theme options so when you will click on this one main row you can you have just have to click on this edit button and you can see you have this logo and what you can do is you can just edit in the logo for desktop as well as the logo for mobile so to edit that you just have to click on this pencil icon and you just have to upload the logo of yours I don't have a logo I, I won't upload but let me just check if I have and here you go there is the logo and I'll be just uploading that logo and after uploading that logo I'll just click on select so here you can see the logo is selected and here you can see there's the logo and uh, if you want to change anything else you can also change a lot things here like uh, if you want to change site title here's a Rishi restaurant so I'll just name it Khadim restaurant restaurant and when we'll go above and in design section here you can just uh, change the uh, uh, site colors also if you want to change and uh, uh, let's suppose you want them blue because the logo is blue so you can also uh, make that blue let's suppose you want it completely blue and here you go and we'll go back and here you can see you have element uh, uh, element section button section like you want to change the make a reservation button and uh, you want to uh, change this you want to change the link here uh, right now it's not linked to anything but uh, you can use any software uh, uh, you can just link to the software you are using to book the reservations or your whatsapp number or your anything any contact uh, any contact uh, link that you are using to book the reservations and then you have this HTML section logo section menu section to change the menus you can also change the menu section and uh, you have a lot other things to change if you want and there is a lot to uh, a lot things to play with you have also a search section if you want to play with that in social you can just add your own uh, on, on social links uh, but uh, those cannot be I think added from here you will have to go uh, back to the da dashboard and here you have a lot other customize uh, customization options to after head adding uh, editing the header uh, after editing the header what we'll be doing is we'll just go below and we'll be editing the footer so here you want to change that its logo uh, so just click on this one and from here you can just change the top row logo and also uh, you can uh, uh, from here you can just change the logo easily just click on replace and just click on open media library and as I have already uploaded uh, uploaded the logo I'll just click on select and here you go the logo has been changed and I'll just go back and you will see here the logo is changed so here you can see the logo is changed and now I'll just want to uh, edit this one powered by Rishi theme so I'll just click on edit and after clicking on edit here you can see uh, powered by theme author so I'll just uh, write here Khadeen Akbar so here you can see the powered by Khadeen Akbar and I'll just publish it so here you can see you have edited the headers and footers I'll just go below and here you can see you have edited it and if you want to edit this this stuff you will have to go to Elementor because this is a, sec a part of the page but if you want to change the what if you want to change the color schemes and stuff so you can just go to colors and from here the palette you can just uh, change the colors and uh, here you can see you have a lot color options uh, you want to go with so here are color uh, color palettes uh, so you can choose one of them they have complete color palettes for you and let me just check which color palette suits me best so we'll see how which one is the best so let I'll I'll just want to go with I will 
just go with this one and I'll just go with this uh, color palette how this one looks like or you can just uh, I can just go with this one how this one looks like I think this seems uh, this seems pretty good so I'll just click on publish and you have just com uh, completely changed the look of the website and um, now you have edited the header and footer let's see how our website is looking right now is it a bit different from uh, this one so here's it reloading so here's the website we have we have this website and uh, here you can see and we have everything changed and here is the uh, uh, real website and here you can see this is different uh, than this one and uh, you I just did a rough stuff but you can do it by yourself and you can do it better than me now it's time to rock and edit the pages uh, so first of all the requirement is that you must watch a uh, elementary tutorial to edit these pages but uh, this is a basic stuff and you can just um, uh, learn from this video also but I would recommend you highly recommend you to watch an elementary tutorial so first of all we'll be editing the home page to edit the home page you just have to click on edit with elementor and the elementor page builder is loading and uh, you can easily uh, edit anything everything and anything from this page builder okay so we'll, uh, as uh, it's loading and here you can see the complete page builder is loaded and it would take some time and now you can see this is a how Elementor looks like this is basically a lot easy uh, let's suppose you want to change the background image I won't recommend you change anything because this is designed by experts and uh, you shouldn't change anything you just uh, you just change the buttons you just change the color um, you just change the text and that's all don't change the images don't change the stuff because this is perfectly designed but if you want to add a one of yours you can just test it out so if you want to change the image just click on right click and uh, click on edit section just go to style and from here you can just go to choose image and upload an image from here and if you want to change the text just click on the text and you are good to edit the text then you have this one uh, you can just edit this text you want to edit the button click on button and from here you can just edit the link and you can also edit the styles fonts and colors from here but I won't recommend you and then you have what we offer section here you can change this logo you can change this icon you can change this one and uh, to change the text you just have to to edit anything just click on anything and just edit it to edit this picture click on this picture and click on choose image and add, ch change the image and this is follow us section so to edit this social links just click on edit and here you go you just have to click on each one and here you just have to add the link this one is Facebook and add the link and uh, next one is Twitter and add the link then you have this one recipes uh, sorry uh, this section and uh, this tab section and you just have to go to each tab here uh, you can add the image here you can add the icon and the description text is below so here you go um, we'll see here you can see in this paragraph and the uh, this in this tab title section here you can change the title and here you can just add a text okay so after adding the text there and doing all that then you have our services section so with the same way you can edit this one then is the time to edit the menu so to edit the menu just click on edit and from here you can uh, edit the each product their description and their pricing also and if you want to show the discount you can also add a discount stuff also here very easily and you can just link this page to this menu page so to uh, just click on edit and uh, from here what you can do is you can just directly link from dynamic tags if you have elementor pro like this one internal uh, url and uh, type content and from here you can just link the menu page this one is when you have Elementor Pro but with Elementor free what you can do is you just have to copy this link copy link address and just paste it here and you are good to go and click on update 
then our chef section you can just easily edit this one you can edit these one these testimonials click on each testimonial and edit it it's a lot easy to use Elementor then you have blog section and here you go you have a reservation section so you have a reservation form and contact form 7 and um, it's um, let it be as it is and then you have a uh, uh, location section from, uh, from here you can add a location of yours just click on edit and here you will have to edit add the API key to Elementor uh, um, element settings pay uh, integration Elementor's integration page and you can just search on Google how to add Google Maps API key uh, or how to maps uh, set up a Google Maps API key for Elementor and you will get the tutorials it's a bit long so you can just check that tutorial add the uh, add the location here I'll add like uh, I'll add Sarkodha Punjab Pakistan and I'll add the location and uh, after some time it will be shown here here you can see Sargoda and all that and after we'll go below here you can see you can change the opening times and uh, get in touch email again this one this button and editing is uh, just uh, same and uh, it's same editing all the pages but I have I have to go through each page now we'll go back I'll just delete it we'll just go back and we'll uh, edit the each page one by one so now we have covered the home then we'll go to about page and after going to about page we'll we'll just click on edit with Elementor and here you can see edit with Elementor and it's editing and we'll also be editing this page it might take some time but uh, we have to edit it so the same is the case here you just have to edit the text uh, you just have to edit uh, the other stuff uh, same uh, same here edit the pictures edit uh, edit this one edit this one and this one is same as home page and or oh, same as home page same as home page same as home page because the blocks are being reused here so uh, everything is almost similar to home page so you don't need to edit each and everything you just have to edit the home page you just have to uh, learn Elementor a bit and you are good to go then you just uh, you can uh, edit the contact page also and contact page is also pretty si uh, similar you have a contact form here with contact form 7 then you have a menu page uh, where your full menu is displayed and here you can see here's the menu page and you just have to edit the same stuff and you just have to add the same stuff uh, but I would again recommend you going with that Elementor tutorial just search on Google YouTube and you can go with that and uh, that's all about the website that's how you create the website and that's simple that's how simple it is but if you need something professional designed by professionals uh, that ranks on Google that get clients for you because this is a basic website if you don't have too much budget and you don't want to create it by yourself you are good to go but if you need something professional at a professional level which works then you can just hire us and uh, let me just show you some digital marketing tools that I use and I would recommend you and uh, some other stuff so let's go so here you have list of all the tools and plugins and uh, first of all there are two useful plugins and there are some tools so uh, you have our WP rocket this one is to boost the website speed but with a Rishi theme which I, I used in there uh, it is uh, just a piece of crap why because uh, you have too much faster website and when you have Rishi with Bluehost then you don't need this one but you if don't have one of them then you can go with WP rocket okay so the second one is Elf site widgets if you want live chat if you want whatsapp chat or a uh, google reviews or any other widgets in your website you can vi uh, visit out Elf site and get Elf site for your website and you can uh, have um, different types of widgets with this Elf site widgets plugin and then you have uh, some tools useful tools first one is canva pro to design awesome menu cards to design some business cards logos and a lot other useful stuff and uh, you can just do it very easily uh, without any graphic designer you don't need to hire any graphic designer 
then if you want to uh, rank your videos and get views on your YouTube videos as like mine then you can use with IQ, uh, IQ Pro which I am using and then you have SEM Rush if you want to rank your restaurant website by yourself you want to do SEO by yourself you can use SEM Rush then Grammarly for emails get response for email marketing if you have emails of your customers or you want to get uh, gra grab the emails of your customers uh, and send them emails then get response is the best software for that and uh, at the last one uh, is HubSpot for managing your clients it is a CRM ERP uh, customer relationship management software and this one is the best software I would always recommend and these were uh, the some tools and you can also contact us for any help and thank you so much for watching the video see you in next video till then take care goodbye